doo doo heads, welcome to a new vlog. For this vlog, we're gonna be trying Factor. I know you guys see the ads, you see the influencers being sponsored by them, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money, mainly because I was playing The Sims and The Sims was offering 600 life points for trying Factor. So I was like, you know what, why not? I didn't feel like doing grocery shopping this week and the meals come prepared, okay? Factor is one of those meal prepping or anti-meal prepping. It's one of those companies where essentially they prep the food for you and you can choose the type of meals that you get, the type of restrictions you have, whether it's low calorie, super protein, whatever the case may be, and they deliver the food to your door. All you have to do is heat it up. Now, if my face look a little crazy or a little off, it's cause I just came from the gym, my bad. And it's really cool because even if you're not home and the delivery is made, everything comes packaged in a refrigerated box. What's really cool is you can give these little vouchers to your friends so they can also get a free box, which I mean, I didn't get a free box. That's not nice, but anyways. I don't know which one I'm gonna go with. I actually wanna hop in the shower before um, I eat. That's usually what I do. This is my first time trying one of these companies. I've never tried like any of these, okay? Like Green Chef, nothing. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna try all of these for the week and I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel. I'm gonna tell you guys if I'm full. I'm gonna tell you guys if they taste good. I'm gonna tell you guys if it's worth it because this shit is pretty pricey. Okay, with the discount, it was nothing. I paid like $60. However, without the discount, it's like a hundred something dollars and I need to go cancel that membership because I'm like, um, bitch, no. <laughs> this is, this is, yeah. High quality protein sign up. Oh, okay, so that's really nice. They give you like nice little offers in this box. I also got like a wine voucher for another company. So that's really nice because child, this thing is expensive. It's like a hundred something dollars for eight meals. So we're only gonna be trying eight meals and I only got eight because um, I eat about three meals a day with my first one being usually like a peanut butter sandwich or a protein shake or a smoothie um, before I go to the gym or before I go to dance class or something like that. So I didn't need more than that. Um, Fridays, usually my man makes me food when I go over to his house. So yeah, that's why there's only eight meals. So we're only doing Monday through Thursday, capiche? Okay, so we are showered and we are ready to eat. I am starving. I don't remember what I got because I didn't pick them. I let Factor pick my meals. I might regret it. But for today, we're actually going to have the potato leek mash and grilled chicken with roasted corn and zucchini saute. Now, I chose this one because it has one of the higher calorie counts. I just came from the gym. You know how that goes. You wanna have the most protein, the most calories. You just burnt off a lot of um, energy. So this has 540 calories, 27 grams grams of fat, 36 carbs, and 41 grams of protein. So we're gonna be good with this, okay? So apparently you're supposed to put these in the microwave for about two minutes, but like my microwave is um, pretty demonic. Um, so I'm very sure that's gonna be more than enough, but I mean, I'm just gonna follow the instructions. To be honest, I have no idea how in the hell this is 500 calories. This just goes to show that a lot of us are probably overeating. Cause 500 calories weird. I don't, I don't believe that this is gonna fool me up, but whatever. Um, so the instructions say, remove outer packaging, place, oh, pierce plastic film a few times with a fork or sharp knife to vent. Wow, it already smells really nice. Microwave on high for two minutes. If needed, continue to heat for 30 second intervals until desired temperature is reached. Let stand for two minutes. Carefully remove film. Transfer contents to plate and enjoy. Oh, so I can't enjoy it in this? Why would I want a dirty dish? I hate cleaning dishes, but. Now we gotta put these in the fridge. Let us hope that this should taste good because it's almost done. I will say, I don't understand how this is gonna fill anyone up, but hey, we're in the beginning, right? So here's the food on a plate. I don't get it, but maybe I'm wrong. Food is fuel, and this is a hefty piece of chicken. I already took a little bite of this mash, and um, it tastes really, really good. Not even gonna lie. There's a lot going on here. Let's hope it tastes good. I'm eating my words. That shit was rocking, and I'm 100% full. I ate the plate. That shit is incredible. I had a headache. Usually I have a headache after the gym. I feel great. Sage, can you believe it? You're not gonna say nothing? That was good. I wanna know the recipe. Right? Hmm. Meal number two. 
Shredded chicken taco bowl with roasted corn salsa and cilantro lime sour cream. This butter tastes good. All right guys, so I forgot to give you guys an update on yesterday's meal. Was not my favorite. It was um this taco bowl thing. And I understand you can have taco bowls without tortillas, right? Um, We get that at Chipotle all the time, but that was giving Chipotle now. I did not like it. it I, I had to get out my own little tortillas to, to enjoy that meal. I was not liking it at all. It was giving dry, I can't even say dry. It wasn't dry, it just was missing something and I only enjoyed it with the tortillas, right? So today I went to the gym, I lifted, and and we are having, let me grab the nutrition facts, fusilli and ground pork tomato ragu with roasted green beans, 480 calories, 24 grams of fat, 85 milligrams. <laughs> Woo, of cholesterol. Oh my God, look at all the sodium. 790 milligrams of sodium, 42 milligrams of carb, 21 grams of protein. Now, the reason I didn't go too heavy, I didn't pick a more heavier meal was because all I did was lift today. I didn't do any cardio. So this is what it's looking like. And this is what it looks like on the plate. So since yesterday's meal took legit three minutes in the microwave, I went ahead and did three minutes in the microwave for this one. I don't know how I feel about what the pasta gonna taste like, but uh, we're gonna see. All right, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right guys, so update on their last meal. I didn't love it. It wasn't my least favorite. My least favorite was actually that second meal. Um, but I will say that last meal I didn't like because it was like, it, I felt like it needed something, okay? It needed tortillas, it needed taco shells. It was just a little incomplete to me, so I did have it with some soft shell tacos. So we're going to have a meal in the morning before I go to the gym. I didn't have one last night because um, I didn't really want one. I was pumped up with junk food, okay? Um, me and my kids had a listening party because we have a performance. So they want to do a performance to club music. Um, they're gonna be stepping to club music So I gave them some chips I ate some chips and then when I came home I was filming some videos and I had some popcorn So I was kind of full of chips and popcorn So I didn't feel like eating and I didn't want to have another bowl anyway So my next meal is in the microwave and we are going to have mushroom chicken thighs and wild rice with garlic roasted green beans Now this one has 520 calories 28 grams of fat 36 grams of carbs and 33 grams of protein so this is a very rich meal mainly because I ain't eat shit really yesterday I only had one full meal uh, and some snacks on some real shit So I'm like I, I woke up starving. I also have a headache and I know my triggers I, I do have binge eating. That's what my ADHD is attached to and I know that when I wake up cranky If I didn't get enough sleep and then I have a headache It's gonna cause me to binge eat all day So in order for me to counteract that I usually eat backwards So I'll eat a full meal in the morning. I'll eat something like a little bit smaller for lunch and then I'll dial it back at night. That's usually what I do. It's worked um, for ages. And for those of you guys who binge eat and you're struggling with that, try that. I guarantee you. One of my friends gave me that suggestion a couple years ago and I was like, yo, best thing ever. Eating dinner for breakfast definitely works. So when I come home, I don't know if I'm gonna have another one of those meals or if I'm actually gonna cook something or if I'm just gonna have a protein shake because I could probably just do that too, to be quite honest with you. I do have a Zumba class in about an hour. So I'm gonna stretch here. I'm gonna eat that here. I'll probably just have like um, one of those like personal pizzas to be honest with you with some fries or something because I like, I don't think I'm gonna want to have one of these bowls right now I'll probably have another bowl like later on today. So we're on to our next factor meal. To be honest, I don't know whether to be shocked that I've literally probably overeated my whole life, which I mean, I knew that because I'm a binge eater. But this next meal looks ridiculous um, in terms of the macros versus what's on the fucking plate. This shit don't make sense to me. Okay, so sadly I kind of already put it in the trash because I kind of forgot that I was filming this video. So you guys don't need to see how gross this shit looks. But anyways, so we have green chili chicken. Okay, just listen, okay, with Mexican cauliflower rice and queso blanco. It is 440 calories, 26 grams of fat, 13 carbs, and 40 grams of protein. This is what it looks like on a plate. How in the hell, how, on God's green earth, this is even more than 250 calories. This is how I know either we overeating or they fucking lying. You must be. Looks like I'm gonna be eating some chips. Cause now I'm gonna have to make me some ramen noodles. All right, y'all, overall that was rocking. That, that, that's definitely one of my faves. I really liked it. 
I ate the whole thing. Okay. Ate the whole thing. It was really, really good. That queso was really good. I usually don't care for queso. Queso, I'm very hard to please with some queso, but that, magnifico. But I will say I'm not full off of it at all. Um, I'm going to be eating some veggie straws, maybe some chips and dip because like I'm still hungry. That didn't really do much for me. I really wish there was more queso. I would have just ate the queso. Like it just, come on now. No, portion's too little for me. I need to understand who the fuck they cooking this food for. Because realistically, this is made for people who like are, are, are fitness heads or whatever. But I'm trying to understand because if I'm athletic, this food's not doing shit for me. Guys, I'm sorry it's dark over here. My lamp's not on, but let me see if Alexa's gonna turn this light on. This should've been acting very iffy. Alexa, turn on living room lamp. Living room light isn't responding. You Please hear that? Check its network connection and power supply. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, like I'm not athletic, but I'm pretty active and I'm not understand them like these meals a lot of them aren't holding me over like this is the first one i could say like nah i'm still hungry i need to grab something the other ones did hold me over even though i was talking a lot of shit um but this one i'm like nah okay so we have two meals left this is my third to last meal and it's looking pretty good we have a stuffed pepper casserole with roasted beans 510 calories 45 carbs 26 grams of protein a lot of salt okay 880 grams of sodium it's low key a lot okay they gotta watch the sodium on these things look at this plate y'all this is gorgeous now this is some michelin style stick okay this i could say i'm 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 very very excited to eat but i have to eat really fast because um i have dance class in about an hour and it takes me about 30 minutes to get there so we have to eat this yum yum fast fast all right guys so i didn't feel like eating another bowl so i'm actually having some Red Baron pizza. I'm having some Red Baron pizza with some fries. This this bowl is way too small, but I feel like cleaning another one. With some pink sauce. I'm telling you guys right now, I actually don't like the pink sauce. I'll probably do a full review, like eating it with different things, but I don't like it. I tried it with um, some chicken tenders and stuff. I really don't like it. Usually sometimes I gotta try things like a second or a third time, and I don't like it more the second time than the third time. I mean, I don't like it more the second time than I did the first time. So it's like, I just don't like the pink sauce. That was a waste of 10. Well, actually I paid $19 for that shit. That was a waste. I mean, shout outs to her, you know, a black woman getting their life together, getting a do at Walmart, but that shit was nasty. As far as that meal yesterday, oh my God, that was so good. That was one of my favorites, the stuffed pepper thing. So fucking good. Like I really, really, really enjoyed it. You know, I'm trying my hardest to like the pink sauce, but it's not working. And I'm mad I kind of got it on a good chunk of my pizza. I'm just gonna have to, maybe it'll taste good on the pizza. I think, I really think the pink sauce would be a really good salad dressing. That, that's, that's, cause it tastes like a bougie ranch sauce. That's the best way to explain it. It has a kick to it. But that stuffed pepper bowl, A1. So I have two more left. So probably gonna go into Monday. Cause I do have a party to go to later. Um, There's gonna be lots of food and alcohol. So I don't wanna go too full, okay? A bay done pay for that ticket. So we gonna get our money's worth, feel me? Turn up, I'm a thought, give me lit. Okay guys, I just came from the gym. So if my face looks a little crusty, that's why. So I have two more bowls left, which means I'm heading into the next week because there were two times where I just didn't feel like eating the bowls. And the two bowls that I have left are actually repeat meals, which is the shredded chicken bowl, as well as the um, uh, stuffed pepper bowl, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna have the stuffed pepper uh, casserole bowl situation right now. And I actually do have an audition for Crunch Fitness Gym to be a Zoom instructor. You guys are probably like, oh my God, you don't like, I like fitness. That's for a whole nother story for a whole nother time, which we're not gonna get into today so i'm going to sit down and do my conclusion of how i felt about all the meals as soon as i'm done which probably by the end of today i'm gonna have the last one so yeah stay tuned for that and um yeah i'm checking with y'all a little bit later all right guys so we're down to the final chapter we are finally having our final meal this is the shredded chicken taco bowl with roasted corn salsa and salsa roasted corn salsa and cilantro lime sour cream now i have this the first time with soft taco shells this time i'm having hard taco shells because i didn't have any more soft ones sad life so final review of the factor meals i will say out of five stars i will give this a solid four i thoroughly enjoyed these meals especially when i was on the go like anytime i had to go to my dance class um or i had to go do zumba these did fuel me Okay, I will say that. And they were enjoyable meals. I'm very shocked. Um, these do claim to be never frozen. I can confirm. Um, they were chef prepared, they're dietitian approved, they're no prep, no mess. Heat in two minutes. I knocked a point off because I had to heat these in two, and I have a very, very like 
popping behind microwave, bro. Like you will burn something in 2.5. I had to put these every single meal. I had to put every single meal for at least three minutes. One meal, I forgot which one it was. I put for like maybe four because the green beans were still cold. Um, And these are definitely ready to eat, okay? So almost as advertised, okay, for the most part. Um, Putting these on a plate, I don't really like that part. It's like, I like that if I, I get something in one of these, I could just eat it at, out of one of these. I guess maybe it just, you know, fixes the aesthetic for you. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I kind of did, didn't just, you know, buy this from Target or whatever. This actually does taste like it was prepared by somebody. Like someone made this shit with some love, you feel me? Now, another reason I knocked the points down is because of the price. The price of this shit is asinine. Now, I will say I got a nice little discount because like I said, I was playing the Sam's and they gave me a nice little discount. I got like, what, 600 life points or something um, by trying this and that's the only reason they tried it. Sidebar, let me know if you guys want me to try more um, like heavily sponsored things without being sponsored because I actually thoroughly enjoyed this. Regularly, what I ordered, literally eight meals for one week would have been like 100 plus dollars. So if I would have ordered this every week, that would have been 400 plus dollars for me one person that's asinine that's very very expensive now back in the day i used to get those little bowl meals all the time from target walmart etc and they're only like four or five dollars um for five dollars if i get two hey alexa what's five times eight five times eight is 40. by the way i am trying to respond from the right place was this the device you expected yes great Thank you. Oh wait, I asked her the wrong thing because technically I would need eight meals, right? So those are by $5. Some of them are actually three. So but we'll, we'll do the higher end, right? So let's do, oh, it would be eight times five. So that's still about $40, right? So on, on the higher end, if they're about $5 each and we're doing five um, times a week, that's about $40 as opposed to the higher end that I, the higher end of a discount, I paid $60 for that. That's insane. And the regular price would have been a hundred something dollars. Chill. Let me just enjoy the last supper cause no. I will say the meals are pretty good. There's probably only one meal where I was like, this ain't it. As you guys saw in the video, two meals actually that I was like, no. I really enjoyed a lot of the meals. I will say if you are gonna try Factor, 100%. Make sure you choose your meals. You look at the ingredients, you look at what it is because I actually let them choose my meals. I barely went through them. Some of them I was like, oh, okay, grab two of these, grab two of these. Like I just, I barely looked through them. But I, I was thoroughly happy with a lot of my choices. I was very, very surprised at how they packaged them. They're packaged very beautifully. They have the refrigerator pack. Nothing broke, nothing busted, nothing anything. Like that was really, really nice. It came exactly when I said it would come. Um, I literally saw it waiting for me at the door as soon as I came home. So, I mean, it was really nice. In terms of keeping me full, I will say only some meals kept me 100% full. Most of them did, but I would say maybe 70% of them kept me full. There was maybe a few that I was like, mm, let me grab a Rice Krispie treat. Hmm, let me grab some chips or something. Um, but I also will say that this week, or well, last week in particular, I was more bingy than usual. Uh, I don't know, like I, I am a little bit under more stress, more stress than usual. So that could just be a me thing. But as you guys can see throughout the whole video, I did read out a lot of the nutrition facts and a lot of them had a higher um, caloric, caloric, whatever than usual because I did choose to have like more protein so for the most part you should stay full um even though a lot of the portions look small there were some dense meals um first of all why can I open this uh oh so overall would I try factor again if they sponsored me maybe <laughs> um but paying for this be honest i'm not even gonna lie maybe if i get another discount code because this shit this some this some bougie shit like this some like yeah yeah this shit bougie i didn't really have the sauce last time i don't really like the sauce i don't hate it it's just like belongs tacos i will say this is not my favorite meal because i don't like putting things together but i have no choice but to eat it because i'm hungry <laughs> with that being said make sure you guys comment down below would you try factor have you tried green chef have you tried any other meal prepping meal kit service because i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time bye